Sometimes when you have web pages, you want to draw more attention to certain pieces of text. So we're going to do that with these text effects. We have bold, italicize, underline. However, you should know that we don't typically underline things because people automatically assume that they are hyperlinks. And then typewriter text, which gives it a different look as well. There are others, but these are some of the main ones. We're going to use bold and italicize in this particular lesson. You're only going to do this to the four cities. You don't have anything to bold or italicize on the index page at this point. So I'm going to start with New York, open it in text edit, and I am going to um, start by looking at my H3s. What I want to do is I want to italicize just the city name in each of these lines of text. Okay, So this is what's called nesting because I am opening a tag inside of another tag. And I'm going to do this on each of those so that I think there should be four if I'm not mistaken. Remember that you have opening and closing. You're opening it after the H3 and closing it before it closes. Five. Okay. Um, oh, and then it's not going to be down here in the last one. All right, so if I save that and hit refresh, we can see that they are now italicized. Now what we're going to do is we need to go in and we have to bold the name of the attraction in each of those paragraphs. So if I start here with Radio City Music Hall, um, I notice that I have a typo here that I will hopefully get rid of before you. I have that written there twice and I shouldn't. Um, so I'm going to start by giving that a bold because we are talking about Radio City Music Hall. And again, with this one, because I'm going to be doing this so many times, I'm going to go ahead and copy the opening one. And as I scan through every time I see Radio City Music Hall, I'm going to paste. And then I can paste it at the end as long as I remember to add that slash at the beginning or at, at the beginning of that tag to make it a closing tag. Okay. And here's one more Radio City Music Hall. Okay, so you can see how that's done. Um, and then the next paragraph is Rockefeller Center. So bold. And some paragraphs have it written um, more than others. Now, r the name Rockefeller is here often, but not actually Rockefeller Center. So. I'm not doing those because it is named after a person. And this says Rockefeller Christmas tree, so I'm just going to leave that. And there we have a third one. And if you do bold something extra, it's not a big deal. If you miss one thing, it's not a big deal either. Um, St. Patrick's Cathedral. Here we go. And you s just take your time to scroll through. You don't have to read word for word, but remember you have to find where it is. Okay, and then the last one here is the National Tennis Center. And that just says Tennis Center. All right, so if I save it and I go over here and refresh, I should see some bolding. Now I'm going to demonstrate something really quick. Let's say that I forgot to put in a slash here. Okay, What that's going to do is it's going to bold everything after that. So the way that I find where I messed up is I say, oh, everything after this is bolded. So that's starting right there. So I need to go back to St. Patrick's and I can look and then I can go, oh yeah, both of those are opening tags instead of having a closing. And that's how you go in and find your errors. 
So now you can go on and finish the remainder of the cities the same way. Again, you don't do anything to the index page on this one.